so first day back at pre-season. How excited are you? I'm really excited. I think uh, you know we've had a, a long break now, and that uh, you know we we needed, um, but obviously very excited to get back amongst the players, um, and obviously. They're all in good, very good shape. Really pleased with uh, how everyone's returned. Um, you know, we're going through the fitness process now, uh, doing some testing, making sure everyone's uh, ready to to go for for what will be, you know, three or four very hard weeks that we can get ourselves in prime condition uh, for the season ahead. And the second half of last season was a real positive, particularly after you came in. Um, it was a t t top four uh, sort of form. Season. Are you looking to carry that over into the new campaign? Well, something that we spoke about with the players uh, this morning prior to the players starting their uh, testing. Uh, since we've been together as a group, um, what we achieved. Now, it was only half a season, but uh, I think the players needed to see what they'd achieved off the back of what was a really bad run that they'd been on. Um, so, of course, that's what we're looking to, to go and reproduce is that, that form that we showed. Uh, from sort of December onwards, and um, if we can emulate that again, then you know we're going to be in a position that we, we're hoping that we can in, in around them playoffs uh, come the end of the season. And you've had the chance to strengthen the squad slightly during the summer, uh, and taking the squad to a, a, a squad size that you, that you like, and it's the 23 names. Um, do you want to talk us through the bringing in uh, Dale Gorman and uh, James Amali? Yeah, I think first Dal uh, Gorman is uh, a fantastic uh, young midfielder, very tenacious, but also excellent on the ball. I think for anyone uh, at the age of 20 to, to captain a football league team, it says everything you need to know about Dal. Uh, born winner, uh, to, you know, loves um, to get on the ball, but loves to win the ball back, and I, I think will be a very big firm favourite with the crowd, uh, which, which we're delighted to uh, acquire his signature. You know, we was in a, a race with a lot of other Football League teams, but uh, I think after sitting down and speaking with Dow and, and, and showing him the football club uh, and, and what we're looking to achieve here, then uh, I'm absolutely delighted that he chose us um, and, and able to get James Alabi. You know, I, I sort of spoke earlier in the week, but I think uh, he's got all the acquisitions that you need uh, for a forward. His physical presence, uh, his mobility, his pace and power, um, and can score a goal. So I think it'd be a fantastic acquisition to the squad. And with a squad that we've already got, I'm absolutely delighted. I think we've done a lot of our work uh, in the January window. Um, and what we've got to remember is we've probably got two or three like two or three new signings. You know, we've got uh, James Dayton who's going to be back from injury. Um, delighted with James, worked ever so hard over the summer, and uh, good to see him back. And Charlie Lee, you know, we we see cameo role at the end of the season, but you know, Charlie's come back in an incredible condition, and uh, you know, they're, they're going to be two like two new signings. So I think uh, first and foremost, delighted with how the squad have come back in the shape they are, um, and we look forward to. To what will be a very tough four weeks, um, you know, players are going to be taken to to places they've not been before because we've got to, we've got to go there. We've got to test the body. We've got to test the mind because there are going to be you know, key moments in this season where we're going to have to dig deep, and that's where we've got to take them in these early parts of pre-season. And uh, players like Charlie Lee and George Elikobi uh, were, were an, a couple of a number of players who would spend it a lot of their, uh, their summer holidays off back here at the training ground or at the stadium doing extra work with Keats the physio and that must be a real pleasing thing for you to see as a manager. Yeah well I think it's first and foremost I think it shows what this group's about uh, and the dedication it's got to try and you know move this club forward again and not where it should be but where we believe we can be um, you know because there's a lot of clubs in this league that feel they should be um, in the Football League. It's where we want to be and we understand that and I think that's credit to them players but also credit to the medical side you know, because sometimes it goes, goes unrecognised uh, the work they do you know um, and Keats and his team uh, have been 
you know, working tirelessly through the summer uh, to get these players in a condition that we need them at if we're going to go and have success this year and, and, and that's what we're all craving. And the first friendly game is a week on Saturday against Harlow. How excited are you and the squad to get back into the run of, uh, of a match day? Well, I think all players look forward to, to that first game. Um, you know, we've got a lot of hard work to do between now and then, so um, 10 days uh, of some real hard graft ahead. But I think once the games come around, you know, that 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 will get the excitement going. I think what really does get everyone excited is when we see them fixtures released. Um, so once they come out and then we get to the Harlow game, then I think that'll be that real buzz and anticipation around the football club that we all get excited for. The fixtures come out uh, next Wednesday. Um, you hoping for a home game to start off with? Uh, I, don't, I don't really get too bogged down with home or away. Um, you know, I, I think just you look, I think for the first eight, ten games are really all going to be difficult games. No one's in any real form. Um, you know, you, you may look back at the season and that you you played someone at the start and, and you lost, but you know that, that we're a team that are going to go on and win the league, and everyone didn't feel that. So I don't I don't feel that you can look too much at the fixtures, whether you're home or away, or the first ten or twelve games. I think after that, then you, you, you get some uh, consistency, some form. Um, but yeah, listen, I think we're all excited for, for the fixtures, whether it be home and away. What I do know is, yet again, we'll be followed by huge numbers by our fans. And, and again, you know, we, we look forward to, to playing in front of them again. And just finally, uh, in a couple of weeks, the side will be going out to Portugal. What, what do you think will benefit from that? Well, one, it allows us um, to integrate all the new players, although only two, but you know, some of the injured players probably haven't been around uh, some of our existing squad for a long while. Uh, and it just gives us seven days of incredibly intense work. We know where the players are. We know that we can monitor everything about them. And, it, and it's uh, a credit to, to Martin uh, and the board for allowing us to go out to Portugal to uh, put that work in and use an incredible facility to, to really uh, put us in good stead for the forthcoming season.